We know that the Russian super special aircraft MC-21 is equipped with the PD-14 engine. While this engine boasts outstanding performance, few are aware of the intense debates that have raged over which engine would truly be the best fit for the MC-21. And one contender stands out, promising to revolutionize the aviation industry and potentially leaving Western competitors feeling self-doubt. What engine could it be? Why say that it can change aviation and make rivals bow their heads? Ultimately, which engine with the MC-21 is the ultimate match? Let's find out. The NK-93 engine by Ketsov underwent a challenging and extensive development process. Initiated in the late 1980s as the Soviet Union neared its end, the project set an ambitious goal, to create an engine with performance superior to the most advanced Western engines. The NK-93 pursued an open rotor design, allowing the blades to operate at high speeds like a jet engine while still achieving substantial fuel efficiency. NK-93 underwent rigorous testing throughout the 1990s and early 2000 Doris S, marking it as a revolutionary engine design with unique capabilities. It masterfully blended the benefits of both propeller-driven and jet engines, achieving remarkable efficiency at cruising altitudes. Early tests yielded promising results. The engine could operate at high speeds while consuming significantly less fuel than standard jet engines, making it one of the most efficient designs of its time. Notably, Conventional turboprop engines with similar thrust generally outperform in efficiency compared to turbofan engines. Whether the NK-93 could also deliver sufficient noise reduction remained an open question. However, had its development continued, Russia might have addressed the noise challenge and other technical hurdles, especially with the growing integration of digital control systems in Russian aviation engines. Despite its promising tests, the NK-93 project encountered formidable challenges. The political upheavals of the 1990s uh, following the collapse of the Soviet Union severely slowed progress. Funding dwindled, plunging the Russian aerospace industry into a significant crisis. Compounding these issues, the engine's intricate design necessitated substantial modifications to the aircraft for proper integration. The large open rotors posed a particular dilemma, making it difficult to fit within standard airframe designs without extensive structural alterations. This complexity made airlines hesitant to invest, as the costs of retrofitting aircraft often outweighed the potential benefits, leaving a trail of unrealized promise in the engine's wake. Another significant challenge is in the size and weight of the NK-93. While its fuel efficiency was impressive, the engine itself was relatively heavy and necessitated ample space to accommodate its unique open rotor configuration. This added weight compromised the overall aircraft performance, undermining some of the efficiency advantages it initially promised. Although the NK-93 was ultimately sidelined in the early 2000s, it continues to stand as one of aviation history's most intriguing questions, leaving enthusiasts and experts alike pondering what could have been. So, what is the purpose of creating PD-14? By the 21st century, Russia began finding a way to restore its position in the global aviation market. The country needed a modern, efficient engine to equip its MC-21 aircraft, Designed to compete with Western planes like the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo, the PD-14 is a high-bypass turbofan engine designed with a focus on efficiency and emissions reduction. Developed by UEC Aviadvigatel, it represents not only a significant advancement for Russian aviation, but also marks an impressive re-entry into the global market for advanced engine technology development. Would you consider flying on a new, modern Russian aircraft like the MC-21, equipped with the PD-14 engine instead of the 737 MAX and A320neo? The development of the PD-14 began in the early 2000s, intending to create an engine that would meet or exceed international standards. One of the main goals was to ensure that this engine could be used not only in Russia, but also in international markets, which required compliance with strict global regulations. This international compatibility is crucial for the MC-21, a model that Russia hopes to sell to airlines worldwide. By 2018, the engine had completed testing and received certification from Russian authorities. And a year later, it was also certified by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, paving the way for its use in European markets. The PD-14's modular design is one of its key features, allowing for easy maintenance and the potential for upgrades over time ensuring that the engine remains competitive in an evolving aviation industry. Airlines prioritize engines that are not only efficient, but also easy to maintain, and they fulfill both criteria. 
Russia also plans to develop more advanced versions of this engine, including a higher performance model and possibly a larger variant for future aircraft. This strategic design approach ensures that it will remain relevant for years to come. So how does the NK-93 compare to the PD-14? First, let's look at the performance goals of these two engines. The NK-93, with its unique open rotor design, was developed to significantly cut fuel consumption. In testing, it demonstrated the potential for notably lower fuel use compared to traditional jet engines of its time. However, this design introduced practical challenges. The open rotor configuration required a larger housing and a major redesign of the aircraft structure, increasing costs and complexity for airlines. Additionally, the engine's considerable size and weight somewhat offset its efficiency benefits, making it less appealing for commercial applications. The NK-93 certainly offers lower fuel consumption compared to equivalent thrust turboprop engines. However, it's worth noting that conventional turbofan engines with similar thrust typically exhibit greater efficiency. The question of whether it operates quietly remains unanswered. Had its development continued, Russia might have addressed not only the noise issue, but also other challenges, especially considering the increasing integration of digital control systems in its aerospace engines. In contrast, the PD-14 adopts a more traditional approach, utilizing modern turbofan technology optimized for today's commercial aviation needs. While it may not achieve the same level of efficiency as the NK-93, the PD-14 strikes a favorable balance between performance and feasibility. This engine can be integrated into the MC-21 without significant modifications, and its lightweight, compact design ensures stable performance without the drawbacks of high costs or complexity. So, what's happened if comparing it with Western rivals? Compared to the GNX and Trent 1000, the NK-93 engine stands out with a high bypass ratio of 16-1, while the Gen-X and Trent 1000 offer bypass ratios of approximately 9-1 and 10-1, respectively. This feature enables it to achieve significantly greater fuel efficiency, with a reduction of up to 25-30% to compared to conventional jet engines. The NK-93 incorporates an open rotor design which optimizes fuel efficiency at cruising altitudes but presents substantial noise challenges. Meanwhile, the Gen X and Trent 1000 featuring enclosed fans and lightweight composite materials provide superior noise control and are easier to integrate with current aircraft models. Besides, the Russian engine also necessitates structural modifications for integration due to its open rotor design, a notable drawback compared to the modern, readily installable designs of the Gen X and Trent 1000. With Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan, a next-generation engine, the NK-93 shares a common goal of high fuel efficiency achieved through a large bypass ratio. However, Ultrafan's bypass ratio is around 15-1, slightly lower than the NK-93's 16-1, yet it still achieves effective fuel savings and significant emissions reductions. Ultrafan also incorporates a large composite fan and a gearbox for optimal performance and noise reduction, advanced technologies absent from this Russian engine. In terms of noise, this Rolls-Royce engine excels due to its enclosed fan design, meeting stringent modern aviation noise requirements, while the NK's open rotor poses greater noise reduction challenges. In summary, the NK-93 leads in fuel efficiency due to its high bypass ratio but faces limitations regarding noise and integration needs for current aircraft. The GNX and Trent 1000 are more versatile and durable thanks to their enclosed fan design and composite materials. Ultrafan, with its cutting-edge technology, offers superior fuel efficiency, noise reduction, and adherence to international standards, demonstrating high applicability and competitive advantages in the modern aviation market. In terms of international potential, while the NK-93 showed great promise, it never penetrated the global market. Its unique design necessitated specialized training and support programs, complicating its deployment. In contrast, the PD-14 has received certification not only in Russia, but also in Europe providing the essential global recognition needed to compete with Western engines in international markets. It's essential to recognize that the NK-93 operates on an entirely different principle and serves a distinct purpose. Claiming that this engine could be the heart of the MC-21 lacks justification and is not supported by credible evidence. Furthermore, it is a large engine that would struggle to fit beneath the wings of the MC-21. In contrast, the PD-14 engine represents the more traditional and proven turbine fan design within the PD family. 
aligning with Russia's strategic focus on developing high-power engines for the future. While the PD-14 may not possess the groundbreaking innovation of the NK-93, it stands as a highly practical solution for modern aviation. This engine is efficient, reliable, and designed to meet stringent global standards. Its ability to cater to the needs of international airlines gives it a significant advantage over the NK-93, which remains an intriguing what-if in aviation history. The PD-14 is undoubtedly the preferred choice for the MC-21, striking a perfect balance between performance, usability, and long-term adaptability. As for the NK-93, the promise of its advanced turbofan technology hasn't entirely vanished. Its modified variants continue to see widespread use in the gas industry, offering a glimmer of hope. One can only wish that development efforts for it will resume as the Russian aviation industry evolves. Perhaps one day, we will witness this engine soaring in Russian aircraft or new aerobatic models. Do you think Russia should try a little harder to find a solution that makes the NK-93 compatible with the MC-21, or is the PD-14 already the best option? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks, and see you next time.